first discovered in a singular Ontario location back in 2014, jumping worms have spread quickly with eight confirmed locations across southwestern Ontario in 2021. Ontario has more than 30 invasive species, most of which have been here for more than 500 years. However, none are identified as being as dangerous to our environment as the invasive jumping worm. Jumping worms are considered a dangerous invasive species because they dramatically change the composition of the grounds in which they live. They feed exclusively on large quantities of fallen plant matter on the top layer of soil, extracting nutrients before they penetrate the ground, which causes negative soil health and weak plant growth. The worm's excrement is nitrogen dense and looks like coffee grounds, which is undesirable for other soil dwelling species that would naturally aerate the topsoil. This prevents water from being properly absorbed into the ground leading to erosion and further stress on plant life. Many species of bee, butterfly, ladybug, moth, and salamander require leaf litter to shelter them during winter dormancy. Jumping worms remove that layer of organic material, reducing the options for survival. Seeds that get eaten by jumping worms are no longer viable, reducing future growth in the area. The absence of low-lying plant matter also forces grazing animals like deer to eat trees instead, which could be detrimental to Ontario's maple syrup industry. Thankfully, it's easy to identify the invasive jumping worm as it has distinct differences when compared to our other worms. The jumping worm has a milky white band near its head, has a high physical activity level, and will thrash about when disturbed. They are mature in August and can be anywhere from 4 to 20 centimeters long. A dense concentration of worms should be investigated. Jumping worms can procreate asexually, meaning it only takes one worm to start a brand new infection. The best way to prevent the spread of jumping worms is to not move soil from one property to another. This means washing boots and shoes after a hike, cleaning the tires of all-terrain vehicles between locations, not purchasing soil from untreated sources, etc. The worms and eggs can be killed if the soil is heated at 40 Celsius for three or more days. When purchasing soil or mulch, ask if it has been heat treated try to purchase only bare root plants or plants in soilless mixtures such as peat and perlite. If you find a jumping worm, report it to the MNR and place the worm or worms in vinegar, rubbing alcohol, or a sealed plastic bag in the sun or freezer, then dispose of it in the garbage along with the soil it was found in.